Hello guys, my name is Ellie from ellietravelbag.com and I finally decided to do a video on which sun creams I use for my sun allergies which are polymorphic light eruption, that's the full name and but everybody knows it as PMLE or prickly heat as well which is the more common condition I did do a blog post on it, I'm going to link it down below because it's actually the most read article on my blog and I know that a lot of people are looking for help out there like I was a few years ago and I actually couldn't find anything really and I found it really really difficult which was the reason why I actually created my blog in the first place basically all these kind of sun creams that we'll be talking about I do have my top three favorite ones that I do use but I will mention other ones as well just because obviously different things work for different people so what works for me might not necessarily work for you and uh, I want you to be aware of kind of what else is out there as well the thing with these sun creams is that I know they help you know some people will prefer like one that I might not necessarily think is the best for me personally so I will kind of cover ones that I think are really good anyway so I just wanted to show you what we'll be talking about just to kind of give you more of an idea if you don't really know much about PMLE or prickly heat these sun creams are also really good for prickly heat too so prickly heat is the more common skin condition I mean it's more common than PMLE so it essentially it's kind of uh, it causes your skin to itch like crazy you'll probably get loads of little red spots on your body it can be anywhere on your body on your skin uh, it depends on the person and depends on how sensitive your skin is it's not so much the sun that affects your skin it's mainly the temperature and when you end up sweating a little bit that's what essentially gives you the rash so that's prickly heat whereas PMLE which is the polymorphic light eruption um, also known as sun allergy is caused by the sunlight so people that have PMLE are sensitive to the sunlight which is essentially photosensitivity um, and that is a little bit tricky and a little bit more difficult to deal with than prickly heat and not as many people have PMLE but I feel like a lot of people do now especially like looking at my blog it's actually getting closer to summer now and a lot more people are coming and just looking for sun creams that will help them so it's just it's just really sad that there isn't much information out there so polymorphic light eruption is usually like how I get it it's in patches so you get like red patches personally I get it on the areas of my skin that are usually covered up uh, throughout the year and for example when I go on holidays and then I put shorts on I will get it on my upper legs or like on my stomach and etc you know like the areas that are usually covered and I'm not exposed to the sun throughout the year. PMLE it's it, it also takes a little bit longer to actually heal it when you do get it quite bad so that's another reason why it's really worth just you know taking extra care and <laughs> yeah because it takes a, around one to two weeks to heal it after it does get quite bad so um, yeah I personally don't didn't find anything that helps me heal it fully as in get rid of it fully I still end up using my sun creams and I still end up doing certain things to kind of protect my skin when it gets really really hot some people have a very very strong it can actually get so bad that they're allergic to just a normal light inside of the house you know like a light bulb because it's photosensitivity so if it's super super strong some people get it that bad so that actually when I read that I just kind of calmed down a bit and stopped being so angry with me having it and just thinking to myself why did I have to get sun allergy why is it me and this and that whereas actually some people have it a lot worse so it's just it's of course it's really sad and it's not cool um, but just try and not get too angry with yourself because it will make it worse and just try and find ways to deal with it and there are ways to deal with it and that's why I'm doing this video because I just want you to know that there's so much you can do and you can actually have a normal holiday of course it depends how strong it is like I said before but usually you can get it even a little bit under control so I hope that's the case with you anyway make sure the sun cream has UVA 
and UVB protection. So UVA protection is actually the one that will protect you from the sun because obviously uh, polymorphic light eruption is a pho photosensitivity condition. So you need UVA um, protection. So you have UVA, UVB and UVC. And UVC is like the least known one, or I mean, when it comes to sun creams anyway. UVC is the shortest wave, then you've got UVB, and then you've got UVA, which is the longest wave, which is not absorbed by the ozone layer. So you need extra protection for that. It's really worth looking at that, and that is actually the main thing that I would recommend you look at, uh, just for the sun cream to have UVB and UVA. And also, uh, the sun creams that I will talk about, I think all of them actually have the star rating, which... Um, like this one here, this one here. So it, it just kind of shows you and tells you how strong the UVA protection is in a certain sun cream. So the ones I'll be talking about today, they all have either four or five star protection, which is really good. So yeah, that's another thing to look out for. Okay, right, so like I said before, this is what works for me. And I will, like, I've got my three favorite sun creams that I absolutely love and these are the ones that work best for me personally but I will also talk about I think two other ones that are also really good and I know other people that really really like them and for them they work best so hopefully you can find something that works for you as well so let's get started the first sun cream that is my absolute favorite and I just literally swear by it when I go on holidays this is the one that I'm gonna use Eucerin so this one is actually specifically made for people with sun allergies which is the only sun cream that I found years back honestly this one is my absolute favorite and it's, it's just so good so it actually has this special ingredient in it which is AGR um, I have to look it up like because I can never remember what it's called um, so it's al alpha glucosyl rutin. I don't know if that's how you say it, but essentially it's this ingredient that makes this sun cream be so amazing and it's just, oh, it, it works so well. And actually this was the very first sun cream that um, allowed me to be out in the sun fully uh, since I found out that I've got sun allergies. Usually uh, when I start off my holiday, I will use factor 50, which is this one and then later on i will kind of go down to maybe factor 30 or i uh, will change to my other sun creams which are a little bit less uh, strong and not necessarily just for sun allergies but i will always start with this one i've got like different uh, packaging because i think this is the more most recent one it actually says uh, sun allergy there and this one's like the previous one but they're they're exactly the same it actually comes in a box like this <laughs> and yeah so this one um it's got uvb and uva protection and as mentioned before uva protection is an absolute must in sun creams for actually both prickly heat and pm and i just think no matter what you have even if you don't have any sun allergies or anything just make sure you get uva protection as well so with the star rating it also has four stars I don't know actually why it's got four not five i'm not sure it's not sticky and it's not really greasy but it does have a yellow tint to it i don't know if you'll be able to see so it looks a bit gross now but can you see like it's got a bit of a yellow tint which is not great and that is actually the only downside of this sun cream because um it will leave some stains on your clothes if you have light clothes so for example on this t-shirt it would have been fine but if i was wearing a white t-shirt and especially if it's hot, you're gonna end up sweating. It will stain your clothes a little bit. Usually it does come off, but just do keep in mind um, if you've got like a super nice dress. But yeah, so this sun cream I will always use during high sun exposure, um, especially if I'm going from the UK to somewhere like Asia and Bali, for example, when the sun is a lot more stronger than here, or like the islands next to Bali, <laughs> which are more sunny than like Ubud. Anyway, um, yeah, so I will definitely start with start off with this one. Then I will kind of take it down to my next sun cream, which I will show you in a sec. So yeah, this one is my number one recommendation, Eucerin. I will 
put a link below because I do get them from Amazon usually unless they're on deal in shops uh, but Amazon does usually have the best deals so yeah oh actually so annoying I do have like an after sun by Userin as well and it's also really good especially if you're just coming home from a, a day in the sun or you have been accidentally sunbathing a little bit or you know what I mean the after sun one just calms your skin down and is very cooling as well so it's just great um for some reason I can't find it anyway even though I have so many creams here oh well I will put a link below and it's also on my blog as well okay so my second favorite sun cream is sultan by boots and actually i think this is the old packaging see i have so many of these it's crazy yeah so this is the new one oh, it's a little bit dirty um so sultan in general is a really good brand but it's actually a brand by boots which is a beauty store in the uk if you're not from the uk in general like boots have really good um like products in general like i really like boots owned um products they're just so much cheaper but really good so this one is actually um it doesn't say it on this new packaging but i checked and the ingredients seem the same before it actually used to say that it's for prickly heat i don't know if you can see it but yeah like prickly heat and sun allergy um i don't know why they took it off now but it's it works just as well i did test it out and it's really good so basically uh with this sultan sun cream i will basically i just use it throughout the summer like even when i'm in the uk and the sun isn't as strong as it would be on on holidays somewhere by the way when i say holidays obviously i mean somewhere hot hot country somewhere my camera just stopped i will use this one throughout the summer uh if the sun isn't too crazy out there and like i said it's great both for prickly heat and sun allergy slash pmle so uh, I do really recommend this. I don't even know what else to say besides how great it is. And it's also super cheap. Uh, I think it's about £10 if I'm right. Hold on, let me see if... Yeah, so it's £13 on Amazon. But if you do have access to Boots, I think you can get it cheaper as well. So um, even if you're in Asia, they have Boots in Thailand, which was just the best revelation ever for me when I lived out there. <laughs> um, and it's... They do sell it and it's just yeah oh it's just so good when i found out they have boots in chiang mai i was just over the moon because it literally saved my skin like i've been struggling out there so much so make sure you um get the sensitive protect so this is the new packaging that they have so this is five star rating of course it's got the uva and UVB protection and it's hypoallergenic water resistant and specially formulated for sensitive skin and it's much kind of lighter to apply and it's not going to stain your clothes um, at all I don't think although I don't know you know how it is with sun creams like they will all, always leave a little bit of stain if you have white clothing or anything light I don't know both of these are just my favorites seriously on to the next one which i actually realized that i don't have because i must have run out i think i took it on my holiday recently and i just i must have run out and i always have it with me so <sighs> so my next one is the p20 by rayman i think is it rayman or reman hold on let me see how you read it um reman reman i think it's called p20 and i usually go for factor 30 on that one and it's really good i was really shocked that it actually works in the first place for me because it's it seems like just like a normal standard sun cream and it's it's got like a really oily consistency which is amazing because it's so easy to spread and put on and especially when you're by yourself and it's just it's just so much easier you know when something's when yeah when sun cream is more oily then creamy is just yeah it makes life a lot better <laughs> i wouldn't use it at the beginning of my holiday or when the sun is crazy out there but if if it's kind of calming down a bit or more towards the evening or after my skin managed to get used to the sun a little bit i will then move on to either sultan or the rayman one rayman however you say it the p20 sun cream and i will also link it down below 
Those are my three absolute favorite sun creams. Yeah. Now let's get on to the two sun creams that also have amazing feedback and amazing reviews online as well as from people that I know. I don't know how to say this, I think it's altruist. With this one, a lot of people say that this is the one that works for them. It's also much cheaper than I think um, the Eucerin sun cream. I personally uh, used it only for a little bit recently on my holiday, but because my trip was pretty short, I didn't want to risk it. So I ended up just using it for a day, I think, towards the end of the trip. So I don't really know if it's really good or not for me. But I thought I would just talk about it anyway because I just know that for some people this is the one that works best. So this is Factor 30 and you can order it online as well. I will also put a link below. Uh, it's actually got a really great consistency. It's really light, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's, it's really light and yeah. Uh, it's more like the Sultan one, which actually now that I'm remembering, it doesn't... Yeah, the, none of these sun creams have a nice smell or anything. It's just a normal sun, sun cream smell, if that makes sense. Yeah, because of the consistency, I didn't trust it. Like, because uh, Eucerin is a little bit thicker. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it does have really, really, really good reviews. So I will definitely give it a try uh, on my next holiday. It says that a new sun filter, A to B, has been added for enhanced protection. So also apparently it supports charities, which is really good. Yeah, of course it's UVA and UVB and it's got five star rating. Whoop, whoop. Last but not least, sun cream wise, because I do have something else as well, is the Ultra Sun sun cream. And this is also really good. Uh, it's a lot more thicker than the other sun creams, which is why I kind of stopped using it. It is good, it works really well, and it's great for sensitive skin. All these sun creams, if, no matter whether you have prickly or PMLE, they should help you. It's also a bit more expensive, which is the reason why I kind of stopped using it, because of the price and the, how thick it is, and it's a little bit more difficult to spread on your skin. But it is also really good, and again, for some people, this is the best one. I will also put a link below. Now, one last thing is, specifically for prickly heat but for PMLE as well is this magical plus like this and it's a spray so it's essentially just a cooling spray it's just, yeah it's amazing it doesn't have any smell it just cools your skin down and it's really good if you're in the heat and it it stops itching so if you're you know with prickly heat even PMLE it's super itchy and it's unbearable when it gets really bad so this will actually calm your itching down and it will calm down the irritations a bit. It instantly stops and clears skin itching and irrita irritation due to prickly heat and heat rush. It cools and soothes the skin and it doesn't have any steroids or anything, you know, it's preservative free too and you can also get it on Amazon. <laughs> oh, actually, when you're traveling only with hand luggage, then obviously you won't be able to take these big bottles. Then these uh, this is what I use. These are like just these travel bottles, which are amazing. Uh, I used to have like the normal plastic ones, but then I found out about these silicone ones and they're really good and they're so much better than the plastic bottles because they actually, um, they just have a lot more protection so that they don't leak or anything. And also the more you use of the cream, or you can put anything you want here. I put my shampoos in here and everything, but obviously they're like squeezy. so. If you use it up, you can just squeeze the bottle and it doesn't take much space. And also they have these little suction bits here, so you can actually, if you've got shampoo in here or something, you can just put it against the wall. And it's, well, it didn't do it properly here. But it stays, they're just amazing. And yeah, I do really recommend them. Um, I literally don't go anywhere without them. Even if I'm staying at my friend's house, I will always bring something in these. So like my shampoo, my um, shower, shower gel, because obviously I have everything special and I can't use just normal products. So here we are. Uh, these are my favorite sun creams that I use and I really hope that it can help some of you. Please let me know if you've got any other recommendations that I didn't cover here because obviously 
maybe it can help someone else so definitely put in the comments if you have any other recommendations or if you know of any other sun creams or if you know of any other products that help you i know there are like vitamins and kind of tablets that you can take as well uh, but in this video i just specifically wanted to cover sun creams but if you are interested in any other uh, recommendations then also let me know so i hope you enjoyed it um, let me know and lots of love make sure you subscribe if you did enjoy this video and make sure you like it as well so give me the thumbs up take care and no matter how hard the allergies get you can do this don't let them stop you from traveling or doing anything you want seriously okay lots of love bye <laughs>